Hi all, let's look at another Leela game. This is of the Test 30 network, which has something called table-based rescoring. So using table-based to sort of say, well, you're not really winning this possession. So it's kind of cynical and I, I kind of like that. And it's progressing really well at the moment, the Test 30 network. Some say it might even become stronger than the Test 20 network, which has been trained with a lot more games. But it's all experimental and to gain insights. But let's have a look. So Leela, ID 30868 is playing white against laser 1.6. So David Grosvenor gave this game. It's a fast and furious 40 moves per two minutes time control with a two second increment per move. The opening book, Night F3, the Ratty opening, to start off with at least. And then we have this unusual continuation. And here is the end of the book. Uh, so we have G4, Bishop G6. By the way, let me know if you like this square highlighting. This is a new feature. <laughs> okay, so Queen B3 hitting the uh, B7 pawn. That's defended. H4, as though there's H5. But at the moment, there's Bishop takes B1. So the real issue uh, is, say Black casually played Knight F6, then the real issue is Knight D2 getting out of the way of bishop takes b1. So now actually h5 is threatened. And what does black do to stop the bishop being trapped? Because there's also f3 if bishop e4. So say h6, then this would be terrible. Uh, so basically, this knight is immediately challenged. That's very important to challenge this knight immediately. Uh, here, in any case, that does something about this capturing on g6. We have bishop f4. Now knight takes e5, bishop takes h6 giving the bishop a square so it doesn't just have to take on b1 f3 knight f6 knight d2 e6 c4 bishop e7 e3 a5 bishop d3 not worried about a4 here that's actually played anyway queen c2 bishop takes queen takes queen d8 and now uh what do you think Leela plays in this position? So it's an interesting position. Both sides haven't castled yet. Uh, so what would you consider to be a nice move here? Okay. Okay, King E2. This does say, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's a classic. Okay, Bishop D6 was played h5 we have now now this worries me this kind of thing in my own games when you allow a capture on e5 you are weakening your c5 square and this is what happens bishop takes d takes knight d7 so is this playing in a very dangerous manner because now this knight c5 looks quite comfortable if ever white plays f4 that's going to be emphasizing emphasizing the issues isn't it or is e4 always going to be adequately uh covered in fact Lila does play f4. And now, laser castles kingside. You might think this is a bit dodgy, isn't it? But say queen e7. It seems white is comfortable here anyway. And if castling queenside, that can run into all sorts of terrible issues like this with the pinned pawn. So castling kingside, saying like, come and get me. So g5 saying yes i'm going to come and get you <laughs> knight c5 was played on hg this position uh with queen d4 it seems important to stop d4 is is interesting to analyze if queen c2 d4 this is, looks as though black's equal at least so queen d4 but this this is um uh a position which technically doesn't seem as though there's too much going on but it is uh, in the game, though, we get a similar situation. And Lila kind of proves otherwise, actually. We get a similar situation soon anyway. Uh, so King H7, just to double rooks, it seems very logical. I think the missing ingredient is revealed, actually, by Lila Test 30 here. Doubling rooks is not enough. So Rook G8 was, was played. Uh, what is the threat? If b6, let's just show that. Taking check and the big one here, what would white play here? Tactical test for you. 
five seconds okay f5 would be a crushing move not just providing support for queen f4 taking h6 but also e6 here so we've got a nice attack on the king here basically indirectly um, okay so we have f6 here and now rook takes e7 is massive advantage for whites basically uh, and if uh, what, what else there's also queen f4 in any case here which is very strong so rook g8 is trying to defend against any invasion on g7 seems pretty essential uh, we have now b4 so kicking that knight a takes a takes knight a6 and now this knight comes in for the attack knight f3 rook d e8 now stockfish recommends here knight h4 actually which is pretty dangerous in its own right but also another strong move it seems which is proven to be strong is knight h2 uh, on knight h4 just to show the strength of the position d takes b takes this position for example with check and here there's some fine tactics going on with rook g6 so like this and it seems black is getting overloaded on both sides of the board in a curious manner yeah losing lots of pawns and the knight's pretty stranded there as well so that will be a massive advantage in any case so knight h4 is interesting it's like working on both sides of the board it seems and with naughty tactics involving the g6 square so anyway but in the game test 30 the side knight h2 is pretty dangerous hg on knight c5 g6 check looks dangerous for example like this knight g4 and the king can get out of the way and white can actually align very nicely against h6 with this kind of stuff just trebling <laughs> not quite an alakine's gun because uh, the alakine's gun is the queen is at the base of the two rooks but it's still pretty deadly there's ideas here of just sacking on h6 now and even if here then just sack on h6 anyway ends up mating so there's pretty dangerous stuff uh here with knight c5 yeah that's pretty dangerous so hg fg f takes g rook g f8 uh on king h8 g6 is pretty good for example like this and then taking the knight yeah the queen's overloaded there so rook g f8 knight g4 and this knight's coming in with a vengeance somewhere i wonder where you think this knight's going okay knight f6 check yes getting a deadly form pawn potentially on f6 if that's taken black sidestepped here with king h8 but let's have a quick look for fun g takes f6 g takes opens up the two rooks and now check and rook g6 is absolutely crushing for example like that or here if king h8 then rook g7 threatening mate on h7 and there's nothing really black can do if that's the best move that's not very nice for black so king h8 g6 and now actually if white has two moves then bish bosh and if taking then g7 is checkmate let me let me just put that on the board just for fun uh just let's let's just say black did nothing just put it on, on the board for fun anyway that's that's one of the aims so knight c5 was played uh we have now h6 and it's yeah it looks like menacing proportions against the black king check so you can't say that test 30 is not a nice attacking style this looks like a nice attacking game king t1 you'll note here the queen is stopping any rook a1 check it's eyeing that and it's it's very useful now yeah it's very useful so um rook takes g2 taking one pair of rooks off at least knight e4 hg things are crashing down against the black king king h6 g7 rook a8 knight f6 yeah this looks absolutely awful for black clearly uh, if taking this things like queen h4 check uh 
this <laughs> this looks extremely unpleasant and if if knight h5 we can just take the queen for example it looks as though that's terrible so uh queen a3 was played and now amusingly knight check a knight under promotion <laughs> with check this runs full steam ahead with check actually it's very useful here to do this check so <laughs> it is not trolling necessarily so rook takes knight takes king h5 knight have six check <clears throat> it's all over bond shouting here queen takes b3 the game ended here of course wants to rook up king's going to escape the checks so yeah fun game there i hope you enjoyed this game and the new highlights please let me know about those uh so if you enjoyed this game video please click click the top left box which should appear shortly to become a member at chessworld.net which is my site and you can play against other youtubers you can also check the analysis of these games in advance exclusively and also edited analysis at any time i could be editing uh, analysis uh, so that'll be fun for you perhaps to check out on the improved menu learn from the masters okay comments questions like shares subscribes all appreciated thanks very much